Hey guys, this is going to be a troubleshooting video for you know all the problems that you might be having with Eclipse and Android in building a project, uh, setting up a project, as well as you know just generally you know trying to set things up so you can uh, start to program. So I'm going to go through a little bit of a checklist, and then we'll uh, look at some errors here, and I'll uh, represent some errors and stuff that I was running into. I you know tried looking around with this for eight hours and it took me you know good eight hours to figure all this out uh, even when you do figure it out and get it running you know it's not gonna really uh, work for you uh, the first problem you're gonna realize is uh, so the ADT plugin is outdated you know they're recommending you use Android Studio right and if you tried Android Studio and you're like me and you don't like it because it lags like hell and you need a better computer well, you're basically forced to use Eclipse that is no longer being uh, supported. Uh, so let's look at that. So first of all, you want to make sure you get this ADT plugin. You can't even find the download link on here. Here is the download link for it. Uh, so this is make sure you have this. Here's the download link right there. So you copy that over. Uh, you might have even done this already, but I'll just kind of walk you through this really quickly. So you go over into your into your Eclipse. You go to Help. You go um, install new software here. Uh, you go to add here. Uh, you type in the URL, the URL to it. Uh, maybe I'll have this in the description. If not, uh, you know, pause the video and look at it. Uh, give it a name, ADT, for example. And we go OK, and you know select it, and you know download it. I already you know, did all that, so that's one part. Make sure you have uh, the the plugin for Android in Eclipse. Okay, the Android plugin for Eclipse. Uh, so, you know, it's easier to program for. Uh, you know, that gives you a few new tools like this Android SDK manager. Uh, but the second thing you want to do is make sure you got the Android SDK. I'm sure you guys already did this. You know, and you can get the standalone Android SDK. I'm not going to walk you through how to get that. Um, but once you get that and you installed all that, you want to point Eclipse to your Android SDK. So you go over to uh, within Eclipse here, you know, select Window Preferences here, uh, select Android over here, and then you're going to browse to your SDK location. Now, you know, find wherever it is on your computer, select Browse. I got mine hooked up and it's you know, attached to Eclipse right now, so you know you find it wherever you installed it to, or you know look at where it defaults to. You know, on my operating system, this is where it defaulted to. All right, and you'll see after you success if you successfully did it that you know some things popped up here. You know, Android 6.0 and Google APIs, uh, depending on what you've installed. So you know maybe nothing actually popped out there, but maybe you actually pointed it to the right place. So the next step here, uh, you know, just verify that you have all that set up there, is to actually open up your Android SDK. And actually, I got the SDK open right here. So if you actually point that out again, so this button right here, uh, my highlight's not working. There we go. Android SDK Manager. Hit that button, and it'll pop it up. Okay. And so depending on what you're targeting here. Uh, there's a lot of variables here that I'll try to kind of go over quickly. Um, I'm targeting API 23, which is you know the highest API, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well too, because you know you want to target the most advanced uh, operating or APIs out there. Um, one quick tip I can give you if you're still having problems after this video, uh, download some of the lower APIs like try API level 22 and try build to that. So you know, download the stuff for API 22, but I'm I'm using 23, and so basically, you know, you could see what I installed here. I just installed like the absolute minimal. Uh, but the most important thing in here that you want to get is the Android support library. Make sure you have that installed. Okay, so make sure you have that installed and in your extras. As well as, you know, you can get like Google Play to services and you know, all this other stuff, you know, pause through and look exactly what I have installed there. I just have the minimal. 
Okay, so let's go back to Eclipse. So if you didn't have, I'm going to delete this uh, package here, app compact version 7, or this library here, and we'll see. Okay, so when you go to create a new project, uh, you might have had a new project, and it, it didn't create that app compact uh, folder that I just deleted, and that is because you do not have, um, you know, Android support library. So make sure you have that installed. Once you have that installed, you know, create a new uh, package. So we'll do that right now. We have it installed. We'll create a new um, project. So we'll go up to File, go to New, go to Android Application here, or if you don't have it up here, you know, you can go to Other, uh, select Android Application there, click Next. Okay, we got. We got to follow some proper naming conventions here. So start with a capital letter for your application name, your, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. And you can see the red application was red. Now it turned blue because we you know, started off with a capital letter there. As well as package name is in yellow uh, because you know, they're trying to tell us, hey, pick something else other than example. So you know, just throw in whatever word in here, uh, whatever you, know, you want your package name to be called. And you can see that went blue as well. So that's all good. Another problem here you're going to run into is the API level, your minimum required SDK, which is at default, it shows to API 8 uh, Froyo here. So you want to up this to at least API level 11. Otherwise, this is going to throw errors. Uh, at least it does with API level 23. You'll, uh, you'll get errors within Eclipse. So you know, change that to minimal API 11 uh, as well. Um, you know, if you have a, another API installed, like a lower API, you could, and you're having problems with API level 23, you know, you could go down to API 22 or something, you know, providing you installed it in your SDK over here, right? Okay, all I got installed is 23, and that's what I'm working with, though, so uh, let's go next. And here we go, we can, you know, just select next here. Uh, as well as here, you know, setting up an icon and stuff. And we'll just, you know, choose blank activity here and we'll go next. Uh, you know, leave that. That's fine as well. So, now uh, we can notice, oh, we can notice a few things uh, happened here. Okay, so it finally installed. So it cleared my other error there as I, you know, because I deleted it earlier. Now it's back. So this is a library. Uh, as you know, as I created uh, the project, it created this library automatically here, out of Compact, which is used, uh, you know, for your project. Once again, there it is, Android Support Library. Uh, but you can see here, there's an error still. And actually, let's just close this off, and close this other one off. That was my old project there. Uh, but if we look here, we can see Action Bar uh, Activity is depreciated. So you might have, you know, been through. This might have already solved you, you know, quite a few errors, and you're still going to be left with this stupid action bar activity is depreciated. Uh, bullshit going on here. So uh, what you want to do is uh, select your activity main uh, dot XML here and change up your app theme. Okay, so your actual editor here might not even, you know, you'll see there's like actually errors within here and stuff as well. So uh, change up your app theme. To uh, go down to project themes here and you know pick something else in here. I'm going to choose a uh, base dot theme dot app compact. Okay, and it kind of fixed the the editor, but we still have a problem here in main activity dot Java. And if we look, we'll see action bar uh, activity is um, you know depreciated. Uh, so if we actually just grab that and we go over here. Uh, you know, search for that on Google. You'll see, you know, classes depreciated. Instead, use app compact activity. So we can change that up within our project. So all we got to do is change, you know, extends action bar activity to change, uh, app compact activity, as well as our import here. So if you look at your import, and your imports here, and what you're all importing, we got to just change action bar activity to action compact activity. Now, when we press uh, Control S to save it, 
it should fix our errors. And there it goes, it fixed all our errors. So, um, you know, that is uh, the goal there. Uh, what happened? I can offer you, you know, some more troubleshooting beyond that, but hopefully, you know, that solved a lot of guys, a lot of you guys have problems here. So, once again, make sure you have um, the plugin, Android plugin for Eclipse with, you know, in your help, install new software, point it to uh, the site where you can get the Android plugin for Eclipse. Uh, once again, you know, in your window preferences, uh, when you go and you point it at your SDK, uh, you should see, you know, this stuff is popping up here, your Android, whatever, you know, API you're targeting and stuff like that, you know, providing, like I said, uh, providing, you know, you downloaded uh, the stuff that was in your Android SDK manager, so it takes a while, you know, fucking updating all this Android SDK uh, stuff here. Uh, actually, you know, probably have to install it two times uh, as well as, you know, solving the errors. And you might, you know, get uh, errors like we had there over here. And a lot of the time, you know, all it is, if you just kind of highlight something and you know, hold your mouse over it, it, it will give you, you know, um, it'll give you, you know, help of what you should uh, try to do. You know, highlight it, uh, you know, figure out what your options are. That's always a good thing. Another thing is, of course, you know, grab, grab it, search for it on Google, uh, see what happens, see what pops up, you know, go to android.com, uh, see what they're saying, and you can see, oh shit, it's actually depreciated. So that wraps up this video, guys.